I keep sewing crafts at the library, and today I'm going to show you how to sew this pencil bowl that you can use to store all of your pens and pencils. This is a really easy, um, beginner-friendly project, so I hope you'll join me. Let's get started. For this project, you will need three pieces of fabric cut to 10 inches by 14 inches, one for the outer case, one for the lining, and one for the pocket. You will also need one 14-inch piece of ribbon, some sewing pins, a fabric scissors, a ruler, and fabric marker or pencil, and a sewing machine. Once you have your fabric cut, we can start pinning the pieces together. So I've got my lining fabric on the table with the right side facing up. And then I took the fabric that I'm using for the pocket and I folded it in half and gave it a press. And I'm gonna put that lined up with the bottom edge and also the the side that you want to show have that facing up as well and then i'm going to take my outer fabric and i'm going to put it um, right side down okay and then i'm going to put some pins in this but we want to leave um, about a three to four inch gap um, so that we can turn it right sides out. I'm going to leave my gap along the top edge because there's not as much fabric. Okay, so once I've got this all pinned, I'm going to take it to my sewing machine and I'm going to um, sew all the way around with a quarter inch seam allowance. I just finished sewing this together, so now I'm going to take my scissors and just clip the corners off. That'll just reduce the bulk around the corners so that they look a little bit neater once we flip it right sides out. So now I'm going to turn it. Once I get this nice and flat with the corners all poked out, we need to um, take this to the iron first and just press the seams down flat. So I'm going to go to my ironing board and do that. I now have this press nice and flat. I made sure that my raw edges at the top were turned in. Now we're going to top stitch all the way around the work to make sure we close um, our opening, but also that will allow us to attach our ribbon. Um, so I folded the ribbon in half and then pinned it right above one of the pockets, and we're going to top stitch all the way around with an eighth of an inch seam allowance. I finished top stitching, so now we need to add our pockets. I made one on the side here so you can see what it will look like. Um, we're going to make these pockets about an inch wide. That should be the right size for most pencils and pens. And you can also adjust the width of these if you're going to store something wider or thinner. Um, so you can see that I stitched all the way from the top to the bottom. Um, that will give us kind of a quilted look. Um, if you don't want that, you can just sew on the pocket. So you're going to just use a ruler to make little inch marks all the way across your fabric. Um, sew your pockets and then we'll be done. So here is our completed pencil roll. And to close it, all you have to do is roll it up and then tie it. 
with school starting back. This is a great way to keep your school supplies organized and together. And this project is also really easily adaptable to other things like crochet hooks or paint brushes, makeup brushes, um, anything you can think of. So I hope you guys enjoyed this project and I'll see you next time. Bye!